Hey everybody, this is Jorge, aka the Latino Nerd, here with another Vita. This is day nine. And a Vita, if you don't know, is a video every day in April. And I'm here with some breaking news in the NFL world. Ryan Clady, well, before I go on, yes, it's about Ryan Clady. The Jets left tackle, DeBrickashaw Ferguson. announced his retirement after 10 years so he's going to retire after uh, the Jets asked him to get a pay cut of around 10 million dollars now I think uh, not 10 million around a uh, he was making an annual salary of 6 million so this would have actually brought him down from 6 to 3 million annually and he didn't want to play for 3 million annually and the Jets were believe asking him specifically to get a pay cut and he didn't want to get a pay cut so he figured I'll retire my body's not worth three million now with that being said the Jets recently inquired about Ryan Clady and today 7.04 p.m. on April 9th Jets traded a fifth round pick in this year's draft for Ryan Clady and a seventh round pick Wow. Now, Ryan Clady, he's a really good offensive tackle. The problem is he's been injured. He has a messed up ACL that he's trying to recover from. And he's, yes, he's good right now as a replacement for uh, DeBrickshaw Ferguson. Well, place uh, a legend like Ferguson. But he's 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 there for now, and if he stays healthy, if Clady can stay healthy throughout this year, the Jets will be in good hands as long as they are able to re-sign Ryan Fitzpatrick before the draft. And the Jets right now probably are no longer worried about that offensive line position because when Ferguson retired, that left tackle was going to be even bigger than the quarterback situation that was going on. Because up until before Ferguson's retirement, it was the quarterback position that was the biggest need of the Jets, only because Ryan Fitzpatrick hasn't, hadn't resigned yet. And now that um, Ferguson's retirement frees up $9 million in cap space, the Jets now have enough to bring on Ryan Clady, and I believe the trade is contingent as long as Ryan Clady takes a pay cut to come to the Jets. And now that Ryan Clady's in the fold with a pay cut from his contract, they the Jets are now able to sign or offer Fitzpatrick a deal in the middle of of what they're asking. Jets are asking for seven, eight million Patrick Sachs asking for 16 to 18 million. Now they can agree around a 9 to 10 million dollar deal for two years. And this is actually really important because now the Jets can focus on depth in the, in the draft. They can uh, get another offensive tackle or offensive lineman in the draft. They can worry about the linebacker, linebacker situation. They can get an outside linebacker, they can get a middle linebacker. They can get uh, corners, they can get safeties. They can focus on depth in the draft and not have to focus on need. They can stick to their plan of drafting the best player available. And they'll be set. And this is huge news because now the Jets don't have to worry about drafting an offensive tackle that has to be thrown in as a starter because of Ferguson's retirement. So as a Jets fan, me, myself, I'm happy that Ryan Clady's back. As long as he can stay healthy then this works perfectly for the Jets. But this is it for today's video. Stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm the Latino Nerd, and I shall see you soon.